family, Megan Bristow here, this is Tasting Teas, and in this video we're doing a wee trip to Angus in Scotland, which is a little ways north of Edinburgh. We are visiting a tea garden, which is part of the Tea Gardens of Scotland, and I will link to their website in the description box for you to check that out. There's a lot of amazing info there, and you can organise a tea tour if you guys find yourself in this area. Uh, that's what I've done today. We are visiting the tea garden of Susie Walker Monroe. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Just That's checking right. I got the name right. And what we did is we did a tour of the garden, took some photos. I will share with those uh, those photos with you guys in the blog post. But in this video, what you're going to see is tastings of two different teas that she has grown and handpicked and hand produced here in her tea garden. And we're also going to get to speak with her a little bit and she's going to tell you a bit about those two teas that we tasted. So how they were grown, processed, and then how we brewed them. So make yourself a cup of tea. Come and join me. Now we're going to Such do a pop cool that over there. Infuser. And then you can have a look at the leaf. Yeah. There we go. If you just want to let us know you know, how that was grown and how it was processed and how you okay. made it for us. Right. So the first tea that we tasted with Megan was our Asamica from Mature Tea Bushes. Um, these are alongside our Canettles Gold Sinensis variety Sinensis. And um, these are larger leafed uh, tea bushes that are normally more suitable probably for a breakfast tea or something like that. But by using the same techniques that we use for Canettles Gold and doing a little bit of tweaking, um, we hope, well we know actually, that Megan said it was a very, very delicious <laughs> tea. <laughs> um, it's a step up from a breakfast tea, it's definitely not that. That is such mm. a gorgeous little reddish orange, look gold too, mm. you can see the gold in it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well Cheers. Done. It just smells like Taiwanese black tea. It's amazing. It tastes like it. It's different though, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, that's mm. deep. There's like a really, really subtle but really pleasant bitterness on the back of yeah. the tongue. The florals are right there at the beginning. Right now, it's, it's a lovely tea, isn't it? When you roll it around, that's when you start to taste that maltiness you get from that. That's good. Yeah. Oh. I'm so glad you like it. Oh. <laughs> wow. My hardest thing is always describing mouthfeel. So like, I like a lack of vocabulary for it, but it's, I like this one because it's really light. Like I said, there's no, there's no astringency but action going there. It's quite silky again. Yeah, it's, it's really it's similar to the gold. Soft. I was going to say soft, but silky But it's like the metal's gold again. It's grown yeah. on the same soil, same conditions, but it is just deeper. The leaf is different. When you swallow, Okay, that's what it reminds me of. When you swallow, just on the back of the tongue, it's that sensation that you get when you eat like dark chocolate, or even, I get this a lot with black teas, that um, like espresso crema sometimes. Um, not to say that it's anything like espresso, but it's just that sensation you get on the back of your tongue, with those things that are pleasantly, tingling. yeah, tingling, <laughs> pleasantly tingling, yeah, yeah, pleasantly, yeah. yeah. Oh. The glass. Oh. The glass smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lovely, lovely lady from Japan and she did a lot of glass waving and she just sort of would do it. after she'd finished it, she was doing this. Do this. And then she was smelling it. Right. And it does, it changes it again. It's really weird. Yeah. Nice so kind of now I'm not sure what the science behind it is. Softer. But it doesn't, yeah. yeah, it's softer, it's, more that actually really brought out the florals yeah, again. Like it did. Oof. And it was just really interesting the way that she has a, a school and a tea academy. Uh, in Tokyo. And it's just quite a nice way of lifting different flavours from it. It's got like a really honeyed sweetness, mm -hmm. very honeyed sweetness. The other tea we tasted is from our project with Tea Gardens of Scotland, which is with seed tea, because our mature samica are from cuttings and kept in polytunnels to protect them from the Scottish weather that beats them about a bit where in which the project now is about tea grown from seed with a long tap root that enables it to actually anchor into the ground properly. And we planted last year um, an acre up in our wall garden of seed tea. It's from Nepal, from Ilam district. 
and we did our first trial and because it's young tea we wouldn't want to sell this until it's had another couple of years. Um, if you haven't got that maturity you haven't got a complexity mm. in the tea and so the second tea that Megan tasted with us is our young tea just from a formative prune so when you focus in on the leaf with the camera there are some larger leaves in there mm. because when we plucked we were doing it at about 20 inches off the ground and so um, they look very different. Um, the, the first one is a much smaller leaf because we took the very finest as if we were plucking a sinensis, sinensis tea. And so, yeah, I hope, hope you enjoy it anyway when you get a chance <laughs> one day. We've got very, very tiny mouths, but we do do tea tours here and you can come and taste them. So yeah. six to eight grams for five minutes. Yeah. And we did that just with boiling yeah, hot water. Yeah. So boiling hot water. And then for the young tea, we did the same thing. Exactly the same. About yep. six to eight grams, boiling hot water for five minutes. And uh, we've managed to get second brews off both of them, and you can go for a third as well. So um, that's a lovely thing about loose leaf tea. Yes. Is you can brew it again Absolutely. and again and again. <laughs>
<laughs> like any afternoon I get to spend talking about tea, looking at tea, learning about tea, drinking tea, I'm just like life. This is Favorite my life subject. Right now. <laughs> ready to know. <laughs> So guys, that has been a wee video of me tasting two different Scottish teas. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'm going to link to my blog post that's going to have some photos of the tea garden and talk about a bit about the tour that I did and about the teas as well. And also, I'd really like to thank Suzy and Tea Gardens in Scotland in general for letting me come and tour this place. And like I said, I will link to their website in the description box as well for you to check it out. Um, if you want to get in contact, make an arrangement for a tour or anything like that. This is just the very beginning of the sort of Scottish tea, tea industry that I really want to explore. So if you really like this type of content, please let me know. Give me your feedback. Um, I really want to do more of this stuff and share it with you. In the meantime, wherever you are, as usual, enjoy a good cup of tea. See ya! See, this is what I mean. I'm not surprised. But... <laughs>